Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, May 1st. Happy Easter Sunday, second, third, third Easter Sunday. And I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I've let my cat out, but I have with me this beautiful painting that I want to show you this morning. Cascading Water. This is a French painting by Bergeau. I got this replica, this card at the National Art Gallery. I've been thinking and dreaming a lot about moving water, flowing water, and the mystery of this beauty that God shows us in so many ways, and how our lives also flow, they unfold. And what a mystery that is. We can't really hold on to water. We have to let it go or consume it. And so the Holy Spirit moves in us and through our lives as the waters of baptism and our lives unfold. We are given some rich texts for our worship this morning. Paul is converted by a blinding light and Jesus asks him, why are you persecuting me? And then Jesus meets Peter, the risen Christ meets Peter on the shore of the Sea of Galilee where he asks Peter three questions. Peter, do you love me? Because Peter has denied him three times, Christ will ask him three times to affirm his love. And that's what we can do every time something goes wrong, every time we mess up and deny our love of God, we can affirm it again. God gives us that chance over and over again. And Jesus asks Peter a very specific question the first time. Do you love me more than these? And I want to talk to you this morning in my sermon about what that means. What does it mean to love God more than these? More than what? What does it really mean to be a disciple? Could there be more to it? Loving God, loving your neighbor, and loving yourself. Is that enough? Or is there something more? Join me this morning as we unpack Jesus' ultimate question. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the cascading goodness of your love. For this earth and its beauty, help us to cherish it. Help us to answer your call every day for you ask us if we love you more than these. Call us into your service today, Lord. Grant us peace and courage and bring peace to this world. Bless the sick, the hungry, the dying, especially Harvey. Bless those who mourn, those who are lost or addicted or afraid. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.